today today is a very very sad day all right it's sad because chances are if you clicked on this video it's because you failed you failed your CompTIA exam and now you're looking to throw a pity party or you just have so much confusion you know you just overwhelmed with emotions and just don't know where to go right well I will tell you it's good news right you're not the only one you will not be the last one to fail right and there is a way around it all right so for those y'all don't know my name is uh, Cisco Soldier aka Uncle Trey and I failed a couple of certification exams right so let me tell you how what I did to get around it <clears throat> so basically you have to understand man it's like this failure is a part of the process right you have the process and then you have the result right the result is you failing so now you need to go back and look at the process prior to the exam right um, so before I get started and go any deeper, I do want to share with you uh, a quote, right? Because there are some great people out there that have failed, right? And one of the greatest, you know, basketball players to ever play, Michael Jordan, right? He had a, a very, very famous quote about failing, which I'm going to share with you guys today, right? Michael Jordan says, and I quote, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed, right? Beautiful, man. And it's the God's honest truth, man. You look at Floyd Mayweather, right? This guy, this guy 50 and 0, right? Didn't beat everybody. But some of y'all, you know, you might may not be old enough to remember, back in the Olympics, right? He should have won the gold medal, but he failed, right? The judges took it away from him for whatever reason, and you know, he, he, he failed. But it was that failure that actually ignited a fire within him, right? So that's what I challenge all you guys and gals out there to do today. Don't let the failure, you know, define you, right? Do not let the failure define who you are and say, hey, this is who I am, I'm a failure, and just stop right there. Because if you stop right there, then yes, you are a failure, right? But what you have to understand is, man, nobody's better than you, right? And, you know, I have a few certifications, right? But that doesn't make me better than you. The person that you see on YouTube talking, oh, I did this, I did that, they're not better than you either, right? You know, the people that's out there working in the industries, they're not better than you. Everybody started from zero, right? Nobody went from zero to a hundred, right? Everybody started from the ground floor, all right? So this is what you have to understand. This is your ground floor right now, all right? But nobody's smarter than you. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. The world is ran by C students. The moment you realize that life will just, you know what I'm saying, it's like a, 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 a switch would be flipped, right? The world is ran by C students, man. Everybody's gonna fail from time to time, right? You just have to realize, like, when you talk about, like, CompT exams, man, CompT exams is, is really just like a big vocabulary test, right? You just have to understand, man, like, they give you these huge paragraphs, right? And really, only the last sentence has anything to do with the question, right? So you just have to just get around that and just, you know, go in and say, okay, hey, I'm going to take my time, you know, I'm going to focus, and got it, right? Now, after you fail the exam, so if you fail today, right, then I would definitely suggest you know, not taking the test for another two, three weeks. You can go ahead and schedule it again two, three weeks from now. You know, go ahead and get around that. That's cool, all right? But just remember, you have the advantage going back in. You've already seen the test. You've already seen the exam. Even though it would be a different version, now you know what to expect, especially if this is your first time, you know, actually taking a CompT exam, right? If this is your first time ever, now you actually know, like, oh, what to expect, right? I'm going to be under time, right? I can skip around. If I'm sure on the answer, I can go, you know. Don't, it's the nerves, you know what I mean? Some people let the nerves get to them, you know what I'm saying? So don't let your nerves beat you up, all right? You got this. You can handle it. It's not a problem, okay? Um, you know, if you're looking for any specific uh, advice on specific exams, you know, maybe I've taken them, I'll leave a playlist up there so you can see, you know, kind of like the different exams and what I said about them when I came out, you know, if that'll help you out a little bit, right? But, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in, man, and just know 
when you pass your exam, because you will. Come back to this video and put it in the comment section, hey, I passed, man. You know what I mean? So that way, you know, that's like your final, you know, vindication. You can breathe. Ah, you know what I mean? And everything is good to go. But just know, failure is a part of the process. All right, and instead of like, you know, curling in a ball and saying, woe is me, use that as motivation to say, you know what, next time I am going to succeed. And I appreciate y'all checking in with me. It is I says me, Cisco Soldier, AKA Uncle Trey. I'll holla at y'all.